Kundaze sawa zuna tani Sitis paramisa ubaba umusi maimane Ukuta kubega asole a party united behind its leader and candidate for the 2019 elections, it has already launched its campaign headquarters in Gauteng and it called it Freedom House. This is the battleground. The future of this country will be determined by what happened here in Gauteng. And I don't know about you, but next year after the elections, we must put a DA-led government here in Gauteng. The tide is turning. Amanda! Worlds were being built and put up between us, separating us. These walls kept us apart, physically and socially. They told us where we could live, where we could grow up, who we could marry, what jobs we could have, who we can fall in love with, and what we couldn't. These are the walls that separate us. And ultimately, Democrats, when there are parties that come and try to divide us and resurrect those walls between us, we ought to be the party and will be the party that is breaking them down. Because when other parties say that black people can only speak for black people and white people can only speak for white people, nothing could be further from the truth. Because in this party, I see South Africans, black, white, Indian and colored, standing up for all South Africans, a one South Africa for all. And the solution? We want to fix this injustice without ever reducing people to simply the prisons of their race. That is why in the DA, all of us can be here fighting for the same values and the same struggles. The leader and deputy are uncontested, but all eyes will be on the election tomorrow to see who will become national chairperson. The race is mainly between mayors Solim Simanga and Ethel Trollip. Meanwhile, the party has paid tribute to the late Winnie Madikizela Mandela. It had previously been a vociferous critic of the struggle stalwart. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Pretoria.